Everyone knows Santa needs a lot of help at Christmas time. We found a Northeast Missouri elf in her 80s who's make, who makes dozens of wreaths from scratch each December. I stopped by a Schuyler County Christmas tree farm recently to see how they all come together. Inside this remote Santa's workshop outside Lancaster, 81-year-old Luetta Barton spends hours each December creating beautiful homemade Christmas wreaths. She and her husband run Birch Meadow Christmas Tree Farm. Barton uses a specialized wire ring like this to shape the greenery into a circle. She begins by gathering the pre-cut pieces of Christmas tree limbs into little clusters. And then you lay those in the clamp, kind of fluff them up a little bit. And I've got a pedal down here that clamps it. She repeats this process, working her way around until the wreath is all filled out. Barton's husband, Berkeley, helps supply her with the greenery she needs to make her creations. He takes Charlie Brown Christmas trees like this one and delivers them to her workshop. We'll have trees that, yeah, they're ugly and they're not going to make a Christmas tree, but uh, he'll mark them for wreath trees. Barton then uses her nippers to cut the limbs to the right length and places them in a tub. Start to finish, it takes her about an hour to make a wreath. Getting the greenery clamped into position is just the beginning. I get the wreath made, I pick my ribbon, and it's just like you go to the closet and pick out a shirt or a dress. And then you have to pick the accessories to go with it. And don't forget the hot glue. Barton uses it to strategically fasten the pine cones into perfect position. She says they're never naturally located in the right place. She also makes festive swags like these. She can make three of these in an hour. Between wreaths and swags, Barton says she makes about a hundred pieces each December. By the time she's finished with her work, she's one tired elf. Barton says the wreaths can last three to four months if you keep them out of direct sunlight. If they get a little dry, she recommends just spraying the greenery lightly with water. She advises to never place them between a 